Spit wads. No one likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you got those bills due. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, generally just feel good about your money situation. But Chime is about a lot more than getting paid early. It's an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and an optional savings account. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Get started today with Chime. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com slash ballers. That's chime.com slash ballers. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank NA. Members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Okay. It was whispery. It will look. I didn't mind it. I feel like you chickened out of what you really wanted to do. So here's what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. What I wanted Take to do. Take two. Okay. Action. I, I can't do it. I just found out I can't do. So here. Uh, welcome in, Spill. Five, Wars. six, seven, eight. <laughs> and a go. Um, <laughs> we are drafting today the catchiest <laughs> songs. Okay. Spoiler. There is one song that I have not been able to get out of my head all day, and while I was thinking about doing this scat, I couldn't remember the mm. Spitballers music. I was like, I'm just going to end up doing this song. But then once the music was going, the song disappeared. Uh, I'm not a music man like you, Mike. Right. I can't have two different you, melodies you in my head at once. You can handle a mashup. <laughs> no. no, I can handle a mashed potatoes just fine, but uh, music mashup, not my bag. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. I liked it. Welcome into the Spitballers. We have Would You Rather, Is This Real Life, and we're drafting the catchiest songs, as Jason said, which, I mean, the truth is you could go 50 rounds each. So there, there's just so many songs and so oh, much source course. material. So this is a more interesting, you know, sometimes we do drafts and we're like, oh, man, can we make it four rounds on this draft? This isn't one of those. And it's very interesting. And it's a little subjective. Yeah, you know, a lot of that. And, like, what is, as you know, what is catchy to you is catchy lyrics is, it like, or is it melody? You know, there's a lot of things that weigh into it. Yeah, is there nostalgia in that? There right. were a couple, like, I was looking up lists of, you know, catchy songs. And every now and then I would see the title of a song, and I go, I don't know that. But if you play it. You're like, oh, well, of course. Now that's in my head forever. You can follow the show on Twitter at SpitballersPod, SpitballersPod.com if you want to support this incredible effort mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. all make on a regular yep. basis. You know how to long I looked through these lists of catchy songs? Minutes. Just <laughs> so many minutes. <laughs> Guys, if you want to support what we're doing here, if you want to join, support Al join Borland. the spit. If you want to support Al Borland, this is the way to do it. Join the spit .com. Mm -hmm. Uh Would you rather time? Would you rather? William from the website, would you rather water always taste salty moving forward or have it taste the same as it does now, but it contains 200 calories per Whoa. 12 ounces? Either way, you still need to consume the same amount you do to sustain <laughs> life and health. Okay, great so, news. So to clarify here, the salty tasting water uh -huh. is not going to destroy us. Like you can't just drink ocean water and survive. The in fact, the number one tip of it, being stranded in the ocean is don't drink the water. Right. It so because you're done, salty so moving forward. Okay, but, but it we, sustains you. All right, got it. Now, the other one, you know, you have to drink a decent amount of water. What do they say? Is the eight glasses a day still what, what the doctors want you to drink? Oh, don't listen to big water. Yeah, there's a big difference between what you're told you're <laughs> supposed to drink and what you're able to get away with. Because I can tell you, 
I I I think there's been a year in my life where I've gone without water. I mean, I, I you, you don't know, make a commitment to stay hydrated. I do right now. Like right now, I'm in one of those phases where I'm trying to drink like a gallon of water a day and be hydrated and healthy, all that stupid stuff. But there have been times in my life where I genuinely don't remember like like ever drinking how many, water. How many ounces is a gallon? Sixty four. I uh, maybe I'll tell you. That's, I'm just curious because no, no, that's no, no. like eight, if it's eight ounces of glass times eight glasses a day, that'd be one gallon. Our whole system of like one hundred is ridiculous. Okay, so oh, it's two gallons okay. that you you even though you're trying, you just said I'm trying to I'm trying to drink a gallon a day. That's half what you need. No. Yeah. Oh no, wait. You said it's a gallon is one twenty. Double what you need. Okay. Sorry. Um, Which is good because I I usually go about half of the gallon. <laughs> now, if you drink, you said it's one hundred and twenty eight. Correct. Okay, and divide that by twelve. 128 divided by 12 is what? Well, just mental math would be 10.6. Uh, perfect. <laughs> now multiply that times 200, oh. which would be about, <laughs> I mean. It would be mental t- math is. Mental math would be like 2,133 <laughs> and then like a repeating three. That's your calorie intake on water if you choose the non-salty A route. day. A day. 2,000 extra calories. How's that going to work out for you? I ain't drinking those calories. I like food too much. What? That's not like this has become the easiest question of all time okay. because I know I can get away with drinking no water. I've done it, proven. I'll get my water via now. Oh, now that's a loophole. Okay. Well, hey, no, hey, hey, it's hey. not. But it's no, it's not a loophole. That's what I wanted to clarify. Beverages that are well, if anything, if other beverages because they're all they all have water. Yeah, they don't get tainted by the salty water right no. this is just plain oh, water then you're just loophole no like it. coca-cola is not going to taste like unbearably salty well then then you, this question is easy yeah it's and it's not easy. a good question because yeah. the the point is is not that oh i can just get some seltzer water instead of regular water and be fine the point is which would be no no seltzer water will, will be salty because that, that's still plain water what if i what if i put some lemon in it mike Where, where's the line here uh, lemon syrup, salty lemon. syrup is yeah. the line. Sugar, sugar is the line. So the the, the little beverages that have got the five calorie sugar, those are fine without salt. See I, how stupid it is to draw that line. Oh man, Al, what a bad question. Is, okay. is he even here? Yeah, God. he he walked out of the room. I was, I, I thought this was great news because what if I told you that there is a delicious beverage? <laughs> At 12 fluid ounces, that has only 140 calories. Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola classic, mm. baby. You know, we drafted a uh, a little while back. Delicious. We drafted myths, common myths. Right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That you thought were true. Ostriches don't actually stick their head in the ground, and people think they do. One of the myths that I found out while researching that was you always hear that these, uh, like, like soda, is dehydrating because it's got caffeine in it. Right. It's actually not true at all. The amount of water versus the amount of caffeine, it is a hydrating drink, not like mm. not like it's hydrating like water, but it does not dehydrate you. Same with coffee. Coffee does not dehydrate you. Right. It's mostly water. That's a myth. We should also draft moths at some point. Ooh. Like favorite moths. Yeah, I would like the Seems compelling. I'll big take- one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you name a type of moth? That's an excellent question. Can Andy, you name a type of moth? Favorite type of moth? <laughs> Go. The clothes, the laundry moths. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's laundry moths. Oh, yeah, they love laundry. <laughs> you can find them in laundry. <laughs> so. um, while you were gone, Al, these guys were trying to take the easy answer of just saying that no, no, no. they, they don't need to drink any regular water, therefore the salt water thing is not a big deal because you can survive on other beverages yeah like if we drink coca-cola would that be super salty because it's got a water base because the water's in it and the water's salty (sighs) go back out of the room also butterflies are moths so i'm going to take them as my favorite oh yeah what's your favorite oh name a butterfly no 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 no. butterflies are not moths. butterflies are definitely not moths no Mm, pretty sure they are no 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 and in fact the the way you tell you pretty sure he said you, it with authority and you didn't even look it up. The way you can tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth is a butterfly, when they land, their wings go up. And they're awesome. A moth, when it lands, wings go down. And what, do you, what do you get if you Google, is a butterfly a moth? It, it, it says, absolutely not. You're it stupid. It says, butterflies and skippers are groups of specialized moths. Specialized moths. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, and crocodiles are specialized alligators. What are you? Hold on. We, we are not leaving this. You're telling me a butterfly is a moth? 
I believe so. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a. It's an interesting that this entire search result is all of the differences between them. Yeah, eight <laughs> differences between butterflies and moths. I want to know scientifically. Speaking butterflies here. do rest with their wings closed, while moths rest with their wings open. Butterflies have long, thin antenna, while moths have short. Fa so, other than the fact that they're different, they're the same. <laughs> Look, they both have wings. Why do you call them different things? Butterflies are, are, are not out there eating my laundry. Look, to be clear, moths are disgusting. Butterflies are cool. Oh, moths are terrifying. Moths and butterflies belong to the same insect family, the le oh, cool. lepidot. We're, we're going high level insect? Well, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying, saying like, I love like, okay, yeah, we're, we're all the same exact. We would call them all moths if they were all moths. We're all stardust. We're all the same. Uh, Get out of here. First of all, what have you found out that moths were really kind and sweet creatures, like their personalities, but butterflies were like really mean? Oh, I think that would make because they're so pretty. Yeah. Because they're so pretty. They're like really hoity toity, haughty, haughty butterflies. I guarantee that's true. It would make Like the monarchs sense. are the kind of the worst. Oh, yeah. They're the worst of the worst. Because they don't want to deal with you. They're so much they're like better the Car than you. The Kardashians of that family Absolutely. of insects. Absolutely. Their luggage is outstandingly beautiful. <laughs> Moths would be so kind. It's, no, it's true. Like rich people have beautiful luggage. Right. I exactly. was hoping he meant luggage. Yeah. No, I 100% <laughs> meant luggage. Um, 100% of ugly people oh. are very kind. Uh, so I think moths oh, would man. be would be just Al's a pretty delightful. kind. No, I wouldn't say very kind. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about. I mean, that's a small sample size, but Owl isn't is he always moth? super... Is he a moth? He no, is no, no, a no. moth. <laughs> He's a moth. He's a moth man? <sighs> it's me. <laughs> owl. Don't call me a moth. I'm an owl. Oh, I love you, Jeremy. Oh, my God. Man, it must suck to be on this show, but not... On with, the show? Not on the show, just berated. Amuse. It's, the people love you, though. It's not the worst way to make a living. Yeah. yeah. Um, people love butterflies, too, but they're jerks. Yeah, well, well, that's what we think. I'm pretty confident because they're, they're luggage. gorgeous. It's all about the luggage. Um, yeah, can we move to the next question? Wait, what was the question? <laughs> that was the saltwater one. I'll take the low-calorie version. Okay. Yeah, you, you have to drink salt water now. Give me the ocean. Have, you, have any of you ever had to do a... Uh, colonoscopy i i have done a colonic okay did you have to clear your system before that no the colonic in fact clears the right. system so when you get a colonoscopy you have to drink a very disgusting kind of salty yeah, substance yeah. sure by the gallon to clear yourself out and that by is, the gallon is in more than like i gallons? mean just like two very low i don't know what the ounces are but it's it's a lot, and okay. you have to get through it all to clear yourself properly. And it's just really, really, really hard to drink something that's salty. And then you, it it wrecks you, right? Yeah, I mean, because you're evacuating. Yeah, it it it, do, it goes in to clear out, mm. goes in to come out. Mm. Um, it's a real RB situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, but um, I just don't. I don't know if I could do that. But the two thousand cal calories. I mean, you well, you're you just live on water then. Yes. Yeah, your calorie intake is going way up. And look, what is salty Coke even going to be good? No. Yes. Do you know how much sodium is probably already in Coke? Not that much. I'm on it. It's a look. I'm pretty sure when you buy a Coca Cola, it says like this is a low sodium product. Doubtful. <laughs> uh, you're 70, thinking of Gatorade. Yeah, 75 milligrams. Are That's there not any that much. salty beverages? Yeah, Gatorade. That crap is super salty. Yeah, and it gets masked by the sugar. Right. You're right. I mean. Because it needs to give, it needs to hydrate not, you. Don't hear what I'm not saying. I love Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> but it's very salty. No, it is. And if you've ever had like Pedialyte and stuff that doesn't sugar yes. it up, it gets real salty. Yep. All right. Rand also, ocean water. Ooh. But have you ever had it fresh? It's delicious. I, I have. Don't drink it's the ocean, great. kids. All right. Randolph from the website, would you rather publicly lose in a fight to a fifth grader? impossible or an 80 year old uh definitely an 80 year old i i gotta let the youth know man i i can beat you up <laughs> like i'm not losing a fight to a fifth to a you don't care if an 80 year old beats you up no because that's respecting my elders if an 80 year old beats me up i would like to believe it's because like i'm not Gonna, jiu jitsu master. I'm not going to. Well, sure, a jiu jitsu yeah. master. I mean, wisdom. That 80 would beat you up. Is power. Knowledge is power. So, the, the, I mean, 
Well, your I bones, probably will your lose. Your bones not breaking his power, too. Yeah, well, yeah, I hope he doesn't break his hip while fighting me. But at the same time, like a fifth grader. Look, I, I remember there was a fifth grader at our school that had outpaced the rest of the class. Were you also a fifth grader at this time? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just saying that this question. Well, I'm just saying a fifth grader can get big. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, sure. There could be one that could maybe. One of these fights sends you immediately to jail. Which one? The kid, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. Look, go out there and fight a fifth grader and see what the repercussions are. Well, no, win, win or lose. It's about embarrassment, though. The question is, which would you rather... Which is more embarrassing? It's a public loss to this. Obviously, it's been sanctioned. But you get beat up by a fifth grader. You're not going to jail if a fifth grader beats you up. Really? Yes, you are. You're going to jail. No, oh. no, not no. if you don't fight. If a fifth fight. grader if just, starts the fight, you're he's not going to jail. He's smacking you with a shovel and you're yeah. doing no. nothing. Okay, but that's you not You can a defend fight. yourself. No. Yes, you can. I promise you, a fifth grader comes up to you hitting you and you punch him in the face. No, you're fine. You are if not, it's on you video, not, as a, as yeah, a, as a no, fifth grader comes up promise. and socks you or tries to stab you, Mike, I, I need are help. you defending yourself if he tries to stab you? If he's you? got a weapon. A stab is not a fight. Oh, so you can beat That's up a, a fifth grader fight. with a it's pocket a knife, knife? What? Wait, it's a knife what? That's a knife fight. fight what if you don't have a knife and he does? I, I need you're not going to use your fists? Look, at, Jeremy, please get in here. If you have a fifth grader attacking ain't gonna you, be on your team. You, you, don't, you don't want me to get in on this one. You guys are insane. I'm not. If a kid is threatening your friend, life, like you don't, you need can punch to. them. But yes, if it's this if is, it the is question actual, is a fight. The, you guys are you guys are taking a completely different argument. If you get in a regular fist fight with a fifth grader that they start and you punch them, you're going to jail. No, you're not. I Absolutely would, not. I would agree. You're I mean, going to jail. If a kid are, walked up to you, on and it's on video, and he punches you in the face, and you punch him back, you're, you're not going, going to jail. You're going to jail, no. or you're giving that family a bunch of money. No, you're, you're probably not. giving that family a bunch of money. But, I mean, it's 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 just a, literally Locked. a sliding scale. Because if, if that kid comes up and punches you. He breaks your and nose, you, and, you, and, you, and, you, and you, what do you have to do? And you push Take him away, punch? and he punches you, and you push him away, and he punches you, yeah. and you push him away, and he punches you. You're gonna sock that kid, and, and you're gonna be fine. That kid's gonna go to juvie. But no, they're not. There is there is a sliding scale. Here. Kids no, cannot just punch anybody they want and not getting in trouble. You're not going to juvie for that. Let's flip this question around. Who would you be more embarrassed to? You're not going to juvie for that. Who would you be more embarrassed? You walk up to you're a kid. You walk up to a, a movie theater, and you go inside and you punch one of the people in the face. You're not going to jail. Correct. Not for not for just a one off. No, definitely not. Definitely not. You well, unless yes. they press if charges. If you're a fifth, yeah. If you press charges against a fifth grader, they, they get in trouble. Juvie. Yeah, that's what juvie's for. Yeah. Otherwise, it would just be your room. <laughs> Go to your room. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a matter of how powerful are they. You know, it's like <laughs> you break. Like, if a there's fifth some grader, kids that could not do anything to get them in trouble. Does it change to you if you if a fifth grader walked in and punched your wife in the nose and broke her nose? I'm not punching the kid. You but wouldn't could defend the kid your go wife? To juvie? I, well, the, you can defend somebody without punching them in the face. That's true. That's true. Uh, bear hug? I'm yes. really good at a bear hug. I'm just hug. saying some fifth graders are bigger than you think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what, that's where this started. That's where it's going to finish. Well, so I was curious. They're bi- they can be big. Who are you they more, can be big. Who, mo- uh. who are you more embarrassed to publicly lose to in a fight? <laughs> I would be more embarrassed to lose to a fifth to grader. To a man-sized fifth grader. To a man-sized fifth grader or an old man. Like, an, there are, I'll bet you anything, there are 80-year-olds alive right now that could beat me up in a yeah, fight. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for We're totally agreeing, agreeing so, quickly. so Just, much. And to be clear, you. Right, I'm not right. talking no, about Andy. I'm not you. talking about me. But I'm like talking about me you. Up. Yeah, absolutely. No, I hear what you're saying. Um, so... I, I choose I would I would be more embarrassed with a fifth grader, but I'm curious, who would you be more embarrassed to win? Like you're, we're, we would win in these fights, right? Which one's more embarrassing? The story of like, okay, yeah, I beat up an eight year old or I beat up a fifth grader. That's they're both pretty embarrassing. You don't want to, this right. fight. You yes, don't want yes. to win this fight. I think it's the fifth grader. I well, think it's probably the f- yeah. I think it's probably the fifth grader. Because I think people understand some eighty year olds they get re- they, they, yeah, they get real grumpy. Crotchety. Yeah. Get off my lawn. Yeah. This is sir, this is my this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> um 
but but Al, what was your opinion on the whole matter? <laughs> I, I'm curious what Jason's line is. If 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 it's not a fifth grader, what about a seventh grader? Oh, like where could I, where where would you rather lose in a fight on the young end? Um, now a seventh grader, some seventh graders can have a must like a full mustache. Yes, I've seen them. I, um, that's what it can. Yeah, big pit, pit hair, mustache. Seventh grade. You said is when, seventh grade. Yeah. We had a we had a fourth grader like that. With not, a full with pit hair and a mustache? Not a joke. What? Yeah. What kind of milk were they? Well, they drinking? were held back like six years. <laughs> they might have been. I mean, they were fourteen, but they were in the fourth grade. Um Yeah, I think I think the the once you get to seventh grade, that's where Junior High that's where it's junior real. Junior high is where like I'm just gonna act tough and back away because I don't wanna lose. How old do you have to be when you punch somebody in the face? Do you go to jail? <laughs> the, Google doesn't have the answer. I I think it's really truly like I know this sounds so stupid. I think it's really truly a, a matter of power. That it like there power could, as in power in the punch. Power or, in the punch. Okay, absolutely. Like you could if you're younger, not but like political you can, power. Right. No. But like if you can, my dad's the mayor. <laughs> blame. <laughs> I'm not ever going to jail. <laughs> um. If if you can hurt someone then there are repercussions for it. I don't care how old you are. You could be an eighth grader, and if you can't hurt me with 100 punches, you're never getting in trouble for it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think if a, a kid clocked a woman on the street and did damage, the police are getting involved in that exactly. situation. Exactly, it's damage. This is damage-based. Um, obviously, if you're just like, ah, what was that? Like that's, right. You're not going was to jail. Is that a moth or a butterfly? Right. I don't know. Right. Which is a line. A, probably a butterfly. Probably a butterfly. Probably. Our kid's a jerk. Uh, that is the line I go to when my children try to do any damage to me is, oh, is that a fly? Is oh, a butterfly? yeah. Is that a you moth? To, to bother them? Uh, yeah. Uh, Manny from Patreon, would you rather have to vacuum your house with your mouth? <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> what? Or wash your windshield with your tongue? Okay, That's a good so, question. So what's so this is saying what's this is the this is the question. Manny from Patreon is writing and asking, what's dirtier? Right. Your windshield or your home? They're both terrible. Yeah, yeah I agree, but uh, what's nasty? So your windshield bugs. Well, it bugs there's definitely bugs poop. in your poop. Yeah, there's <gasps> bugs in your rug. It's the bird poop is I didn't think about bird poop. Bird poop is the true separator between these two. Now, I mean, there's stuff in your carpet that's carpet is so gross. Carpet is why do nasty. we why do we have carpet? Well, the three of it us is have disgusting. The three of us have grown up. We have replaced most of the carpet in our homes. I still have carpet in my upstairs. Oh man, what it's a... actually interesting that you say that because this is a this is a discussion between my wife and I a lot of the times. Oh, it's so gross, and she takes that opinion that it's just so dirty. Yes, and I have always had the opinion that while I am totally fine not having carpet in a lot of living areas, there's still something awesome about carpet because... It's soft. It's soft. It feels... It, look, it feels you better can lay on the feet. You can lay on the ground and, and, and wrestle your kids like we... You could, but according to most estimates, carpets are 4,000 times dirtier than toilet bowls. Wait. That's wait. right. The surface you Excuse walk on every day me? is grosser than the place where you do your business in the bathroom. So carpet installers should go to Judy. Carpets, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Carpets are disgusting. And they are soft. They are plush. And they're great day one. You know what I mean? Like, right. If you want to put new carpet in every couple of days, then have at it. <laughs> so wait, is that's just carpet in general, whether you vacuum it or not? Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. Uh, oh, but what kind of damage can that disgusting do to you? Like no, well, something I would being argue. dirty, like pillows. I think pillows in general, right? They get a little bit ignored on the yeah. old cleaner scale, right? The kit, the dogs might jump up on them. The, you use them for years. Yeah, I'm not talking about bed pillows. I'm talking about couch pillows. Oh, I'm, oh I was okay. thinking bed okay. pillows because bed pillows, like my <laughs> I kids, wash my pillow, she, no, my pillowcase. Sure, but how often? Same as the sheets. Okay, so how often do you wash every your couple entire bed? Every couple weeks. Okay, so you're going two weeks. And like I'm thinking about my and kids. Yeah, you get home and you my, put your head on your pillow. Yeah, you, and you, 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 maybe you were sweating and you haven't showered yet, and you lay down to rest or whatever. Like my kids, they we try to make them shower every day, but sometimes it's in the morning when they fight against it at night and they refuse. You like, get your children I to was shower say the every same day. day. That's a shocking, shocking thing. It takes a lot of effort, but yes, we we try to. I mean, it, during the what? school year, yeah. But my point is, they got dirty. My heads. thirteen year old gets close to it. 
It's at least every other day for him. Yeah, I will say that my younger the youngest goes four or five days. The younger I, mean, I have a little bit more. They, they don't and have. They hate it. It's they don't like have poison. The stink pits yet. Yeah, you know. So, um, but they're laying their every head down day. on these pillows. Get out of here! And they need it. Their pillows are probably yeah. disgusting. And then you go the next night and you sleep on that same thing. Well, then the, the world's dirty. That's what we're learning here. The world's a dirty place. Yeah, but you know what's not dirty? Toilet seats. Apparently, I don't know what I want to do here i don't want to vacuum my house with my mouth that's you, gross you got to go surface area oh it, yeah so the you smaller take, windshield you take the windshield yeah there's going to be some bird doo-doo there I, might be i'm yeah. taking the, i'm taking the windshield for a different reason i'm taking the windshield because i know what i'm getting i can see it Ooh. it's right there ain't no surprises i'm not vacuuming up my carpet going oh, oh what was that <laughs> it's also oh <laughs> what was that no no there was a chunk no, I'm, I'm. And it's probably more fun to lick glass than than vacuum and, a carpet. Yeah, you you know how much oh carpet hairs you're gonna get in your mouth. I mean, it's probably fun, and right? Other, it's a good time. Yeah, hairs. oh yeah. Oh, now just think about this for a second. <laughs> I just had a visual realization because uh, it's been a while. Like we've been carpetless right. for a long time now. We yeah. we we replaced them years ago. If if you at home have replaced your carpets, think back. To when you had carpets and you vacuumed. You vacuumed a carpet that maybe you vacuumed yesterday. And oh, you're the, talking about the bin? The bin yeah. that comes out That's is your belly. It's your belly bin. Believably oh. dirty. Yeah. Now I'm you imagining the vacuuming is I mean, you're spitting this stuff out, right? Sure. You don't have to eat any of this stuff. No, object. you don't have to ingest if, it. What, what into like a bucket? Sure. <laughs> a little baggie you carry along. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you want to throw it away eventually. You don't want to put it back in the carpet. Yeah, you're the vacuum, and you've got a little vacuum bag. <laughs> um, yeah, give me the windshield. <laughs> All right. um, okay, are we moving on, yep. Al? Yeah, let's move on. Jason. Yes? Did you know that browsing online using incognito mode doesn't actually protect your privacy? I did. That's why I use a VPN, Mike. That is right. Well, thank you for setting me up right there, Jason. Uh, if you've never used a VPN, you should because people have access to everything you are doing online. And to be fair, it's none of their beeswax. And that's why you need to use IP Vanish. IP Vanish VPN it makes it easy to stay truly private and secure on the internet. They keep you safe by encrypting 100% of your data. That means your, your private details, passwords, communications, your browsing histories, and more. It's completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands. When you go to the coffee shop and you're on that public Wi-Fi, you better be on a VPN protecting yourself. And right now, IP Vanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to IPVanish.com slash ballers and use the promotional code BALLERS and claim your 70% savings. That's I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H dot com slash ballers. Is this real life? All right. Uh, who wants to go first here? We are sharing some stories from everyday life that are, in fact, not made up. Real things happening to help reinforce your view of humanity. I'll start it off here because this one applies to, to the three of us. We... We like cryptocurrencies. And sure. We, three good-looking men three, buy cryptocurrencies. That is, I mean, is this real life or what? <laughs> um, Very strong. Maybe don't look it. Right. Right. And definitely never scared. We've established that. <laughs> um, Honorary doctorates given to three. <laughs> so we, we've done that, and we've played in the stock market. You know, there's there's investing is an important uh, part of life as you get older. Uh, kids, if you're listening, you know, learn learn to invest. Uh, but here's maybe a tip in investing. Uh, okay. This title is, quote, a crypto trading hamster performs better than Warren Buffett and the S&P 500. This, this is what I'm yeah, talking I knew about, you would, man. I knew you would <laughs> love this. Because it's all fake. It's all Everything. fake. It's all a gamble. Uh, this crypto trading hamster... Uh, is set up on a very high-tech hamster wheel system with a live stream Twitch attached where basically this hamster runs and then chooses two options to buy or to sell. So this is like in the when they have uh, an animal pick who's going to win the sports bet. Exactly Or the, right. the, the big game. 
And uh, the portfolio, as of the time of this article, was up 20%. This hamster <laughs> is killing it. Uh, again. Well, that just supports every investment I've ever made. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm not necessarily saying you need to go by what Mr. Gox uh, that That's is his the, name? That is the name of the hamster, two X's. Um, I'm not saying you of use course, him. Of course. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be one X. It's a uh, you have to go get your hamster. Go get your own hamster to, um, do, to do this? No, gosh, I don't think all Our hamsters ham- have this kind of ability. Are hamsters, like, stupid as just yeah. stupid gifts? Ham- hamsters are real dumb. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there, the, there was not one redeeming okay. single quality to the time that I had a hamster as a child. You didn't have a hamster wheel? Not one that he used. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, we bought it. Don't worry about that. Could you put him in the in, in oh, the, the sphere? Ball? Oh, in yeah. the ball so he can break out and hide under my cabinets. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, he's not that stupid, then is he? <laughs> well, don't uh, worry though. They also don't really stay awake during the day. They stay awake at night. Oh yeah. Be- they go to sleep during the day, so that way they can scratch something while I'm trying to sleep. Or yeah. if you want to hold it, it will bite you. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah, but or, otherwise, or or if you want to invest with it, <laughs> it can really up your portfolio value. So that Very is nice. my article for "Is This Real Life?" You or me, Mike? Go ahead. All right, this one's rather simple. Uh, box of human heads stolen from a truck in Denver. <laughs> Wait box a of human heads. Box of human heads stolen, stolen from so a some, truck. So this is a. Th- Theft so th- situation. This is a theft situation. So but so- we can't overlook the fact that there's a truck mm-hmm. driving around yeah. mm-hmm. with a box of heads. Right. Well, you see. Human? Human. Mm-hmm. Human heads. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was stolen out of a medical truck used to transport body parts for medical research in a nice family area of Denver's Central Park neighborhood. A lot of families uh, out and about, kids getting off into the school bus and people walking their dogs. Right. And then, um, well, now I don't know if you have the answer to this. Maybe you read <laughs> the article. Was this an accidental? I'm going to steal from this bag. Ooh, get home. What'd you get? Right. Oh, I got some human heads. Oh, or was this like a planned heist? Like the human heads are going to be transporting down I-17 at 12 p.m. <laughs> Let's get them. I think it's the former because they That's stole. Good. They stole a dolly and a box. And it just so happened that the box they stole was filled with human heads. That was their loot. That was their surprise. Now, when I was a teenager, uh, I remember I wrongly stole Stole. a box in front of a store. It turned out to have oranges and bread in it. It was like a, it was great. It was a great find. (laughs) (laughs) Wrong. No, wrong. No, 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 no. It's awful. Wrong, wrong. Yeah, bad. Go, go, go into this. Why did you steal this box? Uh, well, we were. I think this is a because I could. Situation. Yeah, a mischief in. thing. It was just a mischief thing. We also stole a bunch of trays from a water burger. Like we didn't need trays. Is that to carry around all your oranges and bread? <laughs> yes, apparently we. To uh, you know, we're just being stupid teenagers. Teenagers don't. And then steal. we that served all of it to underprivileged teens. That's so- right. We stole from the rich, <laughs> and we gave these fruits and breads to those in need. We definitely didn't throw them out to car at people. So listen. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but my point in the no. story was. More along the lines of, imagine if you were causing some mischief, like I can't even fathom, if you stole medical human body parts. And what do you do with them at that point? How do you return that? That's There's what no I way to ask. unsteal the heads. You don't want them. You're not like, oh, good. I found a keeper. You can't put them in your garbage can. And your DNA is on these human heads. Oh my now, the box said uh, science care on the side of it. They should probably say human heads. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. They thought they were getting like a cool science project. <laughs> don't steal <laughs> human heads. You Def- don't want right. this. We are not joking. <laughs> human heads. And the police have yet to make an arrest in this in this oh, situation. Okay, so but, that's the answer to yeah. what do you do with it? Because, no, the answer, what they do you do with it? it? Yes, that's the only end game. Uh-huh. But you, then somebody's going to find perfectly legally acquired human heads <laughs> underground somewhere and think... There's a serial killer. Well, but then they well they weren't were, legally acquired because well, but originally them. yes, mm. but like those heads, as long as it says science care on the side, were legally acquired. <clears throat> All right, Mike, what do you got? All right, fellas, I have quite the tale. It's got some twists and turns, uh, but I'll start it off with the headline. 
because headline. No, it's not about human okay, heads, good. but it's it's a little eye catching here. Best man steals bride from groom Ooh. after confessing love in his wedding speech. Oh no! Oh my goodness! It after happened? the speech, and it worked. So here's the story. And she got married because the speech comes after the marriage. So here's the story. A uh, uh, guy and a gal getting married, tying the knot. What a day. What a special day. Committing each other, <laughs> committing to each other for a eternity, for life, what have you. Uh, the best. So uh, the backstory is the best man and the bride were lifelong friends. Mm. Eventually, bride meets groom and... And groom and best man ended up hitting off, become yeah, good enough to be a best become man, become good friends, and he's giving his speech, and he kind of left the, the 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 crowd stunned as people weren't really sure what to make of it. As he starts talking and saying how he's loved the bride since oh, no. he saw her, oh, my. and just goes At on this and on other man's wedding, yeah, but also. Oh. Also is including things like, so you're a lucky man, mm. but you can't deny what has just occurred here of, it really seems like the best man has just let out a gigantic confession after a ceremony has already been performed. So that on the surface sounds like like the, that's the, wild. the most uncomfortable situation you've ever witnessed in your entire life. So, moving forward, bride and groom, things don't go very well for them. Uh, as the bride puts it, uh, his personality really changed. Uh, he started to wanting to live a different lifestyle. He was nothing and, like Jimmy. And they're actually pretty quickly divorced after about a year. Well, in comes the best man, who's kind of the support system. Well, you know, as things do, uh, they end up turning into a little bit more than friends they start dating they get married they have now been married for over a decade and have four children together and s seem to be living a very happy life that started <laughs> when he confessed his love for her wow. at her other wedding at her other which, wedding which really like in what some story. ways that may take more courage to say than anything that he could ever do in his entire life. It's also awful. But, I mean, to be able to say those things. You're not wrong. That's true love. Because he, you, like, you have problem. to know that that's wrong. He had his opportunity. They ask everyone, if anyone <laughs> wants to speak now, forever hold your peace. He did not abide by the rules of the did wedding. They, did they ask that at your guys' weddings? I don't remember. Because I don't think they actually asked that I, at all. My ours. father officiated mine, so I doubt he did that part. Uh, I don't. I, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I don't remember. I was crying too much to remember. I anything. was in the middle of a panic attack. Mm. <laughs> Were you? Oh goodness gracious! Do how much of be your the wedding, center of attention? How much of your like wedding ceremony do you actually really remember? Not much. Yeah, I'm the same. The same of just it was because it's fine. It's the wed terrifying. Yeah, weddings are very much that thing where it's like. Everything is about the lead up to it. So that when it's actually occurring, it's surreal. Yes. It was very surreal. much. I remember most of mine other than I was crying through the entirety of it. Yeah. I yeah, can oh see that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, we were balling. So was she. That's true. That's true. I was Different a joke. Reasons, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I get it. Right. I get where you're going. Uh, 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 and we're back. I, you Dang know, it, I stumbled <laughs> into the truth. You want to know the sad part of that story? Is Which that story? the crying of, Which of, story? Of, of the of the bride and the groom okay. and, the, and the new groom and the best man and the people um, was that I what I had. I'm not sure if I hoped, but yeah, I, I know but I, I assumed, assumed that it was like a later that night right. <laughs> after yes. the wedding, not yes. like a year of bad yeah. marriage divorce. No, it's it's a wild story. It's like and if you're the if you're the groom and your best man. Just, yeah, you're probably not close friends anymore, are you? Just does this, like, but but what's the responsibility of the best friend at that point? I mean, I don't know. I don't think he has a responsibility. Now you maybe, divorced her. Maybe he. Oh, says, it's yeah. At, at, end at game, the end game. End game now absolutely. the confession. Your responsibility is not to confess your yeah, love you're for his wife. I wish we a great had love. the uh, the transcript of the confession because I want to know if it was like 
alluding you know, to or on the nose. I, I wanna, yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to know if it was like, man, Andy, you are so lucky. I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, really when I, lucky. When I first met her, I was, I was in love. I was madly in love, and I can't imagine how lucky you are. And then you go on, or if it's like, Andy, you're really lucky. She's great. I, I have loved her since the day I met her. I still do. But anyways, I'm, I'm, I wish I was you, and I plan to be you. In a year. In about a year. In about a year's time, we're going to have four much babies. That's what he said. Whew. Wow. Okay. Time to draft. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam to get you out of your hard-earned dollars. Do not let the greedy corporations pocket your money and download the True Bill app. I love when a sponsor is a service that I was already using before they even started uh, sponsoring this podcast. And that's what Truebill is. I've been using them for years. They are fantastic. It's a new app. It helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or you just forgot about them. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. And because companies, they can make canceling a little bit difficult, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel the unwanted subscriptions in one tap. They'll do it for you. I've I've used it. No it phone call. I don't want to I hate that phone call. Truebill, they will handle it. They have over 2 million users and have helped save them over 100 million dollars. That's a lot of cash. <laughs> don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com/ballers. Go right now. Truebill.com slash ballers. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash ballers. The Spitballers Draft. So I'm really curious about this draft. Jason has the first pick. We're taking catchiest songs. So you have a million to choose from. And I just... I'm curious if we end up with the same songs. I imagine some might make the list and be shared, but I also would not be surprised if we all had original takes. Yeah, a lot of these drafts, you know, we, we go 12 total picks, four rounds for the three of us, and uh, most drafts I make sure I have at least 12 picks. But in this one, it's like I, I don't know how much overlap. There's, a, there's right. several that are on my list that I don't think are going to be on yours. We will see. But the first one, the one on one to me, was the song that while looking at all of these songs today and all of them had an opportunity to get stuck in my head, there was only one that did. It was just never going to give me up. Uh, yes. Rick and rolled. I got Rickrolled because, yes. I mean, that is a generational, like, my kids know it because of Rickroll. Yes. My grandparents know it because, you know, Rick Astley was, I'm sure, quite the, quite the charmer. Your grand that that song I don't came know. out in the eighties. That's how Jason. it feels. It feels old. That song came out when we your were parents. Give you a it never gonna I, let you I thought down. that that would be a sneaky later round pick for me. I really did. That was on my list, and I thought it would just be one of those ones I kind of stumbled on. I, I found it later in my search. Never gonna turn that song around. is very strange you you. because <laughs> as a child, I loved that song. Like I was aware of that. He also had another hit, which sounds exactly the same uh, as that one, but that was his big hit. And I love that song. I still love that song. And the it's the fact that it's turned into like this. It's an internet joke of you rickroll someone, which is, I mean, that's just it's because vi of the vintage internet of like how insane is it that this became a thing of. You send someone to the wrong website so that they could go listen to this song. It's this the song. ridiculousness of the video. Yes, the, that's the, the whole. That's the only reason it's it's what it is is because it's it's quintessential time capsule ridiculous video. I it, think it's the combination. I think it's the combination. You've always of said that yes. the ridiculousness of the video and the catchiness of the song. Because once you got Rick rolled, right. <laughs> it's in your head the rest of the day. Because you man. don't need. Right. More than a split second. And, and and when I was making my list, most of the time I was thinking, like, I'm annoyed when a song gets stuck in my head all day. I'm not always like, yes, I have this song. I've been waiting to get this song. You know, and, and that's one where it's like, someone please sing something else. Get this out of my head. Gotcha. All right. I will go with, I mean, so many to choose from. I don't know how to prioritize them. That's the hard part. But at the end of the day, I'm just going to go with my heart. I think. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson is okay. one of the catchiest songs of all time. Okay. So you get the bass okay. line. You got a hook in there with the chorus. I mean, it's just 
in your head if you hear it it makes you want to listen to it over and over again and i actually love the song so oh it's a great song it's yeah. not just catchy it's a catchy plus you like it guitar uh this is one of those you know fun facts that a lot of people do know so i'm not breaking ground here but uh the guitar player that's eddie van halen on, really? cool, on that track yeah so that guitar solo is in fact Eddie Van Halen, who was asked mm -hmm. if he would like to participate mm -hmm. in the music video, mm -hmm. and he passed because he thought the song was going to be a dud. <laughs> really? That was why? <laughs> Whoopsies! Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> mistakes were made. Yes. It's always funny when you hear about actors passing on certain roles. Right. Or uh, the one I always remember is from E.T. Did you ever hear that? Which one? Where Eminem's uh, didn't want to be included, and so oh, they so did, it was Reese's. It was Reese's Pieces. Oh, oh. And then, whoops! I mean, I don't know if that's just urban legend, but I always heard that they that's passed on the on the share uh, that opportunity in Reese's Pieces. The rest is history. Was that the moment that Reese's Pieces took off? Because that would be really funny. Hmm. It, I think it was. I think it was a catalyst. <laughs> they are delicious. Uh, all right, with my first pick, uh, I'm not gonna go with a with a radio song. I'm gonna go with a song that when I it gets stuck in your head, absolutely, it still slaps. And when you when I really think about it, I think I may have heard this song more than any other song in my entire existence. I'm so curious. I'm going with the Super Mario Brothers theme song. Whoa. Wow, left field. Because like when you back if you grew let's, up on Let's hear it. And you're now you're in. Now you're in. Now you're totally in. Like, if you grew up in the Nintendo era, that thing was just on repeat for hours. For people could say, "Oh, I I can listen to that same song forever." But the Super Mario, they make you listen to the same <laughs> song for hours and hours. So that's and a burning. That's oh, a burning situation. Yeah. That's not just like hook. And that's burning. And I still love it. It's still great. And you have tons and tons of new, you know, remixes and wow. fresh looks on the song. But I love that song. It but, gets. It gets. Go ahead. No, I just say it makes me think I should have gone into some different alleyways well, with you, this question. You are. You are free to. Oh wait, Brooks is saying if I want to correct myself. What are you talking about here, Brooks? Sorry, I thought you would see right above there. Is that actually on Beat It, that guitar solo? The, instead of Billy Jean? Oh, it was. I anyone? thought that's what you had said. I am. No, I apologize. Billie Jean. I yes. figured you'd appreciate that. You'd yes, yes, yes. Thank you for correct correcting me on that one. That yeah. would have been a, a faux pas. <laughs> but yes, Beat It was the Eddie Van Halen. You, you can all delete your tweets now. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's already seen Yeah, it. I've already gotten them. I've already. Okay, so Super Mario. And then... Uh, this is when you get into the the area of, of songs where it's like maybe it's considered embarrassing if you like it, but it doesn't matter. It's Be catchy because this song gets stuck in your head, and it was this was a generational moment for us. There were three young fellas, all related, brothers in fact. Okay, brothers in mm -hmm. fact. One played the keyboard, mm -hmm. one played the drums, and one played the guitar. Mm. And they had an anthem that Not went out. <laughs> they had an anthem that went out to the United States of America, and that anthem was Mbop. Mbop. <laughs> mm, 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 <laughs> because Mbop, it did once, take over the world for a while. Once it's in there, good luck getting it out. It is a virus. So Super Mario Brothers theme in Mbop. That is correct. All right, I have Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Tough decision here. Um, I'm gonna go with "We Will Rock You" by Queen. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Um, they different Queen couple. songs that you could choose from. Yeah, that's the hard part is deciding which Queen song. But I think "We Will Rock You" takes the cake for me. Yeah, it was, it was the same with Michael Jackson. I feel like you could pick uh, several Michael Jackson, several Queen songs. So you've got some great performers here. And of there, yeah, and there's some some songs that like, especially when I think about like, there's catchy like Mbop, which owned a little piece of time. Mm-hmm. But then there's catchy, like, is in every sports stadium for all of eternity. Yeah, stadium songs. And so those stadium songs, like, which, you know, they have two songs. They have We Are the Champions, too, which could be in there. Or, but um, it's really, I, I believe those songs, I don't know, Brooks, you might know this. They, they, on the album, those songs just, like, run into each other, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're technically one track or not, but I, I think they're separate, but they just it's it essentially runs like one seamless track. That'd be real dumb if they didn't do it that way. Hmm. Yeah. All take right. that queen. 
Jason, you Stupid. have, have a, d- d- a couple picks. I really wish I was not on the clock because choosing between... Uh, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at all. Uh, choosing between these songs is like... I, I don't feel like there's a tear break. I feel like everything is about the same to me. Um, but the one that has been stuck in my head probably the most from this list today... Uh, it's another classic. So I've got never going to give you up. It's a classic. Sure. So I'm never going to give you up. You yeah. know what else I'm not going to do? Let you down. No, I'm not going to stop believing. Oh, Don't okay. Believing. Little, uh, journey. Yeah. yeah. Uh, journey usually is a uh, pretty catchy, catchy, uh, ditty. Now I'm going <laughs> to, now I'm going to go a different direction. A little less classic, a little bit more recent, a little less good, a little more bad, a little more rock and roll. No. Oh. no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this one is a little bit more do 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 do. We're going. Uh, what? Baby oh, shark. Oh, goodness doo, gracious. Doo, 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 yeah, doo, baby okay. shark, dude. And now you might okay. have that in your head. Yes. That's the classic. Please, I hope that someone ruins get that you in the poll. Out of my head. <laughs> yeah, I hope it does too. I really do. It's the worst song. But tell me it's not catchy. Oh, well, it can be catchy, but you can have catchy songs that are good. Oh, I got two of them. Yes, I do. Yeah, but now you have one that's real bad. Yeah, I do. But it is a real catchy. Right. This is not Am I best back on the clock? Or is it yeah, no, this you're is up, Andy. Catchiest you're up. songs. Am I up for real though or like fake? You are I, okay. no, I've when no when you've made your bad picks, I have never said a thing. You just let me I just walk let it off the cliff. <laughs> um I'm gonna go with Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. Okay. I'm gonna go with Eye of the Tiger. Okay. So that is my catchy song pick number three. Iconic. Interesting. Yes. Last, you know, you hear it and then it's in your head for a long time. I recently heard a story from uh, the Always Sunny <laughs> podcast. <laughs> and so I will take their story and I will share it on our podcast. Ah, yeah. uh, let's, let's hear your story. So my story involves one of those guys <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sitting on, a, on an airplane uh, by a member of Survivor. And they were telling the story of how they wrote that song and they got uh this is just just total podcast just stealing their podcast but it's a great story um uh so the singer or whoever was getting got a message from sly stallone said hey i want you to write a song for my rocky yeah and he completely blew it off it's like who is doing this like who's screwing me right now that pretending to be sylvester stallone a couple weeks go by gets another call Hey, why are you ignoring me? This is Sly Stallone. I want you to write a movie. Were you about to do a Sly? I right was, there? I yeah. was, but you I didn't want to. I didn't want to go into <laughs> the whole bit. Hey, uh, <laughs> ignores it. Gets a call from the manager. Sylvester Stallone is trying to call you. Why are you not answering? That's Sylvester ridiculous. Stallone, and he wanted two songs. And so they go and they spend a whole bunch of time in the studio recording a song. And they're perfecting everything. This is it. This is going to be the theme for the new Rocky movie. Uh, oh crap! We have, but we promised two songs. We need to rip one off real quick. The one they rip off real quick turns out to be "Eye of the Tiger" and become one of the most iconic songs of all time. It's just wow. So, you're saying rip? You're not saying ripped off from somebody? No, else, no, no. Just like got it done. Like quickly. they banged it out because they isn't like, that how it always happens now? It, I mean, it's like music is so wild of like these, the songs, you know, and love that are iconic. There's you no, know, oh, oh yeah. I wrote that in 10 minutes. Yeah. You hear those stories <laughs> on like Howard Stern and stuff yeah. when he interviews artists. So wild. So I'm going with Eye of the Tiger. I like it. With Billy Jean and We Will Rock You by Queen. Mike, your final two picks. All right. So with, hmm. With one of my picks, I know where I know where I'm going, and I'm gonna go with. I think it's their biggest hit. I believe it's their biggest hit to me because it's the song that I, I'm drafting as their catchiest song. But there was a a uh, a group of fellas. They were a a pop group. They swept the world, and then when they wanted to to break up with a lady, they said. Bye bye bye. Mm-hmm. It's on and, my list. Oh yeah, yeah you got that one on there. Yes, it is. It, that's their biggest song, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was that was the song that brought in. It took it from just like the hardcore in sync fans and the uh, like the the young ladies who all were into in sync to guys were like, 
that's, that's not half bad. That's not half bad. I can get down with this. I bought the No Strings Attached album. That was a very, no very big song. It was fantastic. It's also very funny to go watch those old the like, old videos, still, live performances, and how ridiculous they look. I still love. think of it like anytime someone says bye bye. Yep. You, you, you bye, bye, yeah. bye 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 bye. All up. right. For my final pick, man, it's. Uh, I am going to go with. Uh, I'll go with this. I'll, I'll throw a modern song in here because this one also swept i think the world and the nation and this thing was like number one in the billboards for a record-setting amount of time it's old town road my friends well jason's nodding his no, head I, as, as I, in, I, I know the song i i saw it on uh, on okay. a list it's a good song you wait you you don't i don't think, think it's that catchy really so, let, let me hear it. Hit, I'm hit me. Down to now, bro, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, gonna I'm kind of on Jason's team on that. I thought that's wow. sound, I thought it's, it's a great catchy. Song. It's just hard when you're only down to 12 picks. You can, okay. ask, you can ask me now, Mike. Okay. It's very catchy. Thank you. Thank Mike, you, Al. I, I, I believe I said it's very one. catchy. I believe yeah. Jason said it's very catchy. I just felt bad because I couldn't support his take earlier, so I wanted no. to get in there. Yeah, thank you. Okay. No, All right. So you got your four picks? Yeah. All right. I um. It took me a second to find my last pick because I started trying to think about different alleyways than mm -hmm. traditional music once you okay. put the Super Mario Brothers theme song. Gillette. Gotcha. Yes, I'm talking about <laughs> some jingles. The no. song that never ends. <laughs> but where I got to was actually the Imperial March by John Williams from Star Wars. Okay. Dun, okay. Dun, yeah, dun, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm because in. Because. I'm in. I started going down there like maybe I'm gonna go Jurassic Park theme. Right. And then I was like, but what is the mo and and you just let your brain go, what's the most catchy, iconic like music theme that you would just repeat to yourself? And that, that was yes. what came to my mind. I don't know if there's another song I, from movies I don't hate it. that that is that kind As, of aside from all of John Williams songs. Yes, right, all of his yeah. songs are that way. But that, that guy, one that, that one's a turd, out. man. That guy's... How can you be so good at anything yeah he's he's unbelievable yeah do I, yourself I feel a like, favor watch him compose like one of these themes in front of a live orchestra and have your mind blown i feel like if you're making a, a really epic movie you're making what is going to be a blockbuster you have two choices make it better or don't use him <laughs> like those are your two choices for you're you're deciding okay who am i gonna have score right. this movie well how good do you want it to be not that good. And I want to hear the stories of John Williams of like, well, how did you how did you get the 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 melody for the Imperial March? He's like, well, I was taking a crap. Yeah. They're, they're and all... it just came to me. I wrote that in three minutes. I, actually... I was like, duh, 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 oh, duh, 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 Yeah, okay, I got this. This is like, I don't know. It's such a, I, I don't think I like this draft. <laughs> Because I feel like it is a betrayal. It's one of those drafts because of the choices where it's a betrayal of a thousand songs yeah. to pick four. And we all have different opinions. But are we done? Did we do no, the whole thing? No, I, Jason, I okay, have, Jason has one more. I still have my favorite one. No, we're done. My, not my favorite. My final pick. I, I did consider doing the song that never ends. You know, this is the song that what, never why? ends. What because happened it's, to Because you? once that gets in your head, you can't get it out. But I already took Baby Shark, and I can only take one of those gimmicky it's very, uh, yeah yeah so um and likewise because it's gimmicky i'm also not going uh gangnam style which was is pretty catchy but oh, i feel like i love that song. i know when the song isn't even in english and you like yeah you can't get out of your head it's like yeah it's pretty catchy but i'm gonna go with a song that i have right next to my list on next to bye 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 very similar kind of a poppy mm -hmm. once you get i i think it's that like alliteration of the of the uh you know the diction and it's Poker Face okay. by Lady Gaga. Okay. Because your p p p poker face. P <laughs> yeah, poker no. Face. no we, 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 it's uh, I got some. Yeah, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> that one is my my daughter. Like every now and then, that that song goes around my house. Like just not 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 even played. Just someone is like it has it in their head from somewhere, and one and it spreads like a virus. Yes. It certainly does. So I think that qualifies for catchy songs. Yeah. What do we have on our list? Oh, to do honor to yes. the other songs here, what do you got, Andy? Uh, the Final Countdown by Europe. Mm -hmm, great. Um, I, had, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing by Aerosmith. I don't care what you say. 
I had one to be by Spice Girls. Again, okay. that okay. that just stays Catch in your head. It. Sure. Staying alive by the Bee Gees. Sure. And also, who let the dogs out by Baja Man? I do <laughs> have that one on my list. Yeah. Uh, I have um, Mickey. Hey, Mickey, you're so oh, fun. Yeah. You're so you, fun. You blow my mind. That's a Mickey. way better pick. Uh, I just I've got, got Rick Rolled. I've got. <laughs> Him. Yes, you just got Rick rolled right now. <laughs> Who did it? I did. Jeremy Rick rolled. Oh, that is so great. Um, you did not verify the link. Yeah, yeah it was so good timing. Too. <laughs> uh, I've got happy because I'm happy. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then um, That's, uh, Pharrell. Yep. Yes, and living on a prayer. Oh, okay. by uh, Bon Jovi. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you sound, sound just like him. Thank you. Um, wow! Mike, you, I always, see, that's the perfect example. I hated Bon Jovi. I could right. not stand Bon Jovi. He was he was a little too old for me, so like the older crowd liked him, so I hated him. It was for old oh, people. Okay, I gotcha. Yep. And um, But when you hate someone and their music's so good, you can't yeah. get it out of your head. It's like, that. That's okay, you good. win, Bon Jovi. Uh, leftovers, I had uh, the 500 Miles, uh -huh. which in title alone is... Doesn't always give me, it, my, yes. my, my, my. I would walk 500 yes. miles um, and uh, call me maybe. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That song is amazing. <laughs> like, Mike's having the time today. I I am 100%. I don't know if you guys have seen like memes of uh, it's like I'm not saying I'm the super buff guy, but like it to make the meme is funny where they, they show a, a guy who shredded. It's like me walking into the gym. And he's got headphones in, and that it's like what I'm actually listening to. And it's, call and me it's, maybe. it's Carly Ray, call yeah. me maybe. And that is 100% me on the bench, just hitting yeah. it with call me maybe blasting. Any other, any others that uh, Al or the judge want to contribute? I had uh, call me Owl by <laughs> Paul Simon. Hmm. <laughs> I want is that. Because it's good, or because you wanted to make a call me owl joke? No, that song really gets stuck in my head a lot. Okay, all right, it yeah. does. Uh, take on me. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. All right, that'll do it. What did we learn today? I learned that butterflies are jerks. Oh yes. So I learned with their fancy luggage. <laughs> I learned that even if you uh, keep your guard up most of your life, you can still get rickrolled by now. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Did you learn anything today, Mike? Not really. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's I good. just I learned that carpet is as dirty as I thought it was, which is dirtier than toilets. That's one. I got to research that. Cause is that because your, butt, that your butt cheeks are cleaner than you think? Oh, and the carpet's just still really clean? Yeah. No, 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 no I don't no, think no, no. so. I think it's because the carpets are freaking disgusting. <laughs> just think about what you vacuum up, Turns man. Turns out shoes are disgusting. This is why you... Really shouldn't wear your shoes in the house. Correct. Because you save the carpets. That'll do it for this show. Tell your friends. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com.